Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. I've always struggled with drum fills. They were just not the thing for me to program, I don't know, for some weird reason. And thus I've always looked for ways to cheat while creating them. Like I would borrow a nice drum fill from a track I made with a friend of mine. I would use a sample from a drum fill pack that I bought online. But then I realized I've been missing the point the whole time. I can actually create unlimited drum fills with ease, really quickly, and on a budget, using only my DAW and its native devices. And by my DAW, I mean Bitwig and Ableton. So there's no excuse in here. And I hope that there's some ways of replicating the techniques I'm going to show in this tutorial in other DAWs like Cubase and FL, etc. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you my new cheat for creating unlimited fills with ease, really quickly, and on a budget. But before we dive into this tutorial, if you'd like to support the channel, you can consider becoming one of my patrons, or buy my presets on Gumroad, or just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Things like this helps the channel a lot, and content like this is posted every week, and special content from my Patreons. Now, with that said, let's dive into this tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Bitwig. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll add an instrument track in here and I'll add a drum machine. Now, to keep things simple for this tutorial and on a budget, I'm going to use a drum kit from Bitwig called Acoustic Drums Kit DW1. I'll just load this. Now, for sure, you can use whatever drum kit you want, but the essential part, at least for me, is to have a bunch of toms, ride, rim shot, kick, snare. You can have a crash, but for me it's not that essential. So I'm going to take the crash out, this rim, the crash and the hats off. Now I'll just rearrange my new drum fill like this. So now I have the essential elements for me. Kick, snare, toms, rim shot and a ride. The whole idea of this cheat is actually to have an arpeggiator playing random notes. So basically it'll play the kick, then maybe the tom, then maybe the ride, then maybe the tom one, then maybe the snare, etc, etc. And it's going to play these notes using two time divisions, either one and sixteenth or one and eighth. It's going to alternate between them randomly. This will actually create a huge chunk of drum samples being played randomly while alternating between two time divisions. And then what we're going to do is actually just cherry pick the part that we would like the most, and voila, we will have a drum fill. Now, some people might call this like extreme cheating or something, but I don't care. There's no right or wrong way of doing things. This is my way of doing it. It works pretty nice for me, and I really want to share this with you guys. So I'm going to use Bitwix ARP, but you can actually use the random ARP generator that we've created in an earlier tutorial using the note grid. Now, here's the Bitwix ARP. Um, I just need actually one step. So I'll take down the steps to one. And we basically have eight notes in here. So I need a random modulator. And this random modulator will actually modulate the transpose button in here. And it's going to go up to seven semitones. Now, our random modulator will play at 1 16th. And it's going to be unipolar by default. It's unipolar, by the way, I didn't route it correctly. So take this like so. And I'm going to type seven semitones in here. So now, if I'll create a MIDI pattern on our drum section in here, I'll just put kick, like so, one long legato note. Give it some volume. Let's change this color to something nice to look at. And now, if I'll solo it, hit play, check this out. Pretty cool. Now the snare is a bit too high, the rim shot is a bit too high, take them down a little bit, now we have this. The snare and the tom are still a bit too high. A 
pretty cool. Now I'm going to give it some distortion because we have distortion here. Pretty cool. Now I'll add another random modulator. And this random modulator will play with the time division. So I'll set the time division to 1 and 8 and I'll modulate it for a value of 1. So now it will alternate between 1 and 16th and 1 and 8th. Now let's set the random modulator to 8th note. Now we have this. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just bounce in place. So now we have our drum loop. I'll add a limiter for, to control these peaks. For that, it's pretty easy. I'll just take a compressor and I'll set this compressor to ratio of infinity to one. So basically now it's in limiting mode. It'll just act like a limiter. And I'll play with the threshold so it'll just pick these huge peaks. So now we have... Okay, pretty nice. And I'll add an equalizer just to clean some of the lows. Like just to attenuate them a little bit and for that I'll just use a low shelf like so. Okay, pretty nice. And now all we have to do is cherry pick the parts that we like the most to create a drum fill in here. So for that, I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so I think we have something decent in here. Check this out. Pretty nice. Now, let's put it in context and see how well does it sound with the kick and bass. Pretty nice. Isn't this just awesome? We've just created a drum fill using Bitwix native devices and drum samples. And it took us, I don't know, five minutes with all of the explanation to create. I think this is really awesome. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this. So yeah, with this, this is the end of this tutorial. I really hope you've liked it. I really hope you've learned something new. See you next time.